Uh, first, what we're seeing here, what we're witnessing with uh, the Biden family, frankly, is just a web of concealment, of deception. So a lot of people would say corruption. But let's be very clear. You have this many companies involved, th this velocity of transactions, size of transactions. Like my colleagues have said, this is not how normal businesses operate. Um, I had the ability uh, with Chairman Comer and other members of the committee to go over to the Treasury building and review documents. And having read those documents, one thing is became pretty crystal clear, that there were many people who had serious questions about the transactions and about the velocity of these transactions. And they either get very, very, very deep into concealment, hiding money, shifting money. Um, and for the purpose, we don't know, because one thing everybody in this room and the American people definitely know is that the Biden family doesn't really have a business. There is no business structure around this family except politics. And since Joe Biden has spent decades in the Senate, served eight years as vice president, and is now president of the United States, and the family's getting money from various countries and foreign businesses, through various shell companies and this web of LLCs. I mean, guys, you in the press, this is easy pickings. I'm giving you Pulitzer stuff here. Like all you have to do is literally look at our memo and see the level of detail upon which they have created this. And it's very, it's very, very frustrating. We have now been able to clearly see that the Biden's associates like Rob Walker, Eric Sherman has been discussed, created at least 16 companies while Joe Biden was vice president of the United States. 16 companies created while he was vice president. Now the list is 20, and as we continue our investigation, that list is growing. And like I said before, the question is to serve what purpose? And the purpose of all these companies being created is to conceal money that the Biden family has been gain gain gaining because Joe Biden has been sitting at the upper echelon of our politics for almost five decades. That is the entire purpose here. Here's an example of what I mean. You have Rosemont Seneca Partners, Rosemont Seneca Advisors, Rosemont Seneca Technology Partners, RSP Holdings, RSTP2 Alpha, RSTP2 Bravo, Rosemont Seneca Thornton, Rosemont Seneca Bohai. I want to make sure I pronounce it right. Bohai, B-O-H-A-I. And the list goes on and on. Cycling through this many companies serves no legitimate purpose. And as somebody who actually worked in banking, I did that long before I came here. Whenever there was like this many companies just laying all over the place, and you see wire transfers and cashier checks over here going to random members of the family for no apparent purpose at the size and velocity at which all of this was being conducted, the only logical conclusion of a financial professional is you are concealing money. Let me restate this. You are concealing money from either the IRS or from credit agencies or from other people in general. That's the only reason you set up a structure like this. Some of these companies were connected to Hunter's personal professional company, Oswego, or Skinny Atlas, Scale Atlas, however you want to pronounce it. And the list goes on and on. And Mr. Biggs, he talked about Hudson West 3 and some of those other issues that were going on as well. One thing I want to make sure is that all of this has happened and Joe Biden is aware. Nobody in this room can logically sit here and say that the President of the United States had no idea that these companies were being formed while he was vice president of the United States. And I will add you, he was in probably in better mental shape then than he is today. You know, I'll throw that out there. And so what this committee is gonna continue to do is pursue this investigation. We are gonna continue to document and we're gonna provide that information to all of you in the press. So to help you and frankly, you know, like Congresswoman May said, and probably help the DOJ along with their investigation. One quick note, it's interesting that the Department of Justice has been investigating Hunter Biden for quite some time and we seem to just never really get anywhere. And so I think that's also interesting as well. I wonder what's going on at the Department of Justice. Uh, but that being said, the bottom line is, there is no real business here, none. And let me also say this, because I know there are many in this room who wanted to go down all the various um, uh, schemes that our colleagues on the other side of the aisle accused the former president of. Be very clear, the former president 
actually had a business, very big business. You could say it was his name, you could say it was his buildings, you could say it was wine, you could say it was branding, you could say it was The Apprentice, but he had a very big and legitimate business, which everybody in this room clearly knows and understands and can point to and say, ah, that's the thing, that thing over there. Joe Biden has no business except his position in politics. And it is the requirement of this committee to investigate that. We're going to continue to do that, and we're going to let the facts speak for themselves. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.